Hi everyone, my name is Mike Sherry. I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. We're an RV dealer in Ohio, but we do sell nationwide. So to learn more about us, instead of just taking my word for it, or you can just watch some of our other videos, I guess. But uh, pause this video, go to Google, type in Paul Sherry RVs. There you'll find our website and look to the right. That's the important part. You'll find reviews from real customers, nearly 500 by now it might be 500 by the time you see this video so uh, check out those reviews if that's you one of our customers who who has done business and left us a review thank you very much for doing that uh, behind me today I am standing in front of a mid bunk room fifth wheel which if you're shopping for fifth wheels and particularly bunkhouse fifth wheels or extra bedroom fifth wheels you're, you're looking at mid bunks um, because they really offer a lot but all of them are just a little different. This is the only one that I have ever seen that really has it all. It's It's got it all. And what's cool about this particular fifth wheel is it doesn't have all the price. It's probably one of the more affordable uh, mid-bunk fifth wheels out there on the market. So I'm gonna turn this around and I'm excited to show this to you today. So this is all new 2020 uh, Forest River Arctic Wolf. Uh, this Arctic Wolf is part of the Cherokee brand of products, which Cherokee right now is the top selling brand of towable RVs in the industry. Uh, the Arctic Wolf uh, division of Cherokee has been producing fifth wheels for probably about four or five years. And what they're known for is their shorter half ton towable fifth wheels that really have the amenities of the big ones. So what they've done in this past year is I said, you know what? we do really good with having short fifth wheels that can be towed by half ton trucks with all the amenities that the big ones have why don't we build big fifth wheels so that's uh what we're looking at in front of us today it's the sweet edition which i i like to say the sweet is sweet because they really are sweet and uh, this is the 3660 mid bunk uh four slide fifth wheel and a lot to offer so let's just take a look at it the arctic wolf comes standard with the fiberglass front cap that's going to keep the nose of this fifth wheel nice and tight uh, for years to come what i like about the arctic wolf cap is it wraps around some in some cases almost 10 inches to the sidewall so just imagine taking hold of the nose with a nice strong fiberglass cap that's just going to keep the front end of the super stable uh, three slides on the non-door entry side here uh, and we also have some storage here so we've got pass through in the first compartment it's all the way through to the other side it also allows us to see what this fifth wheel what the skeleton is you know what it's made of and that's nice thick uh, tubular aluminum uh, as you can see there welded on the corners really nice and cleanly done smaller storage compartment right next to that and then we have your water hookup stations black tank flush cable satellite hookup water heater and furnace all rightly neatly organized there uh, this is part of the arctic wolf uh, uh, brand so it is going to be able to be used in cooler weather and one way you can check that if you're shopping out there for any type of brand is see where the gate valves are you notice here's the gate valve handles but we don't actually see the gate valves because they're actually hidden underneath inside of that uh, heated uh, compartment which is known as the underbelly so therefore the gate valves are in a heated area so they're not going to freeze on you so easy a couple more slides this does have two axles with nice alloy wheels this also comes with uh, a BAL stabilizing system uh, you can see a couple of the jacks here right behind the rear wheels the other two jacks is a four point system are right up front the front landing gear so you literally push a button on this fifth wheel and it'll level itself just like a really nice class a motorhome is going to do so nice feature that comes standard on these arctic wolf another really cool thing is they added this travel rack uh, so that's going to fold down a great spot for extra things i've seen customers put generators on there i've seen customers put totes and i'm not quite sure what they have in the totes but they put totes on there uh, bicycles fit really well on there and it's also your spare tire holder as you can tell and this is one thing that this mid bunk fifth wheel has that a lot does not have is this outside uh, kitchen area so it comes with a gigantic uh, fridge and freezer here uh, take a look at this just a lot of space i've never seen a mini fridge this big uh, has lighting has power uh, some storage in the cabinet here and these real nice work trays here uh, it's made out of a metal type of material so it's going to be good to be out in the elements uh, like an outside kitchen is going to be power awning on this i've got it all the way extended it is a tiltable awning uh, 
Now the same company that builds the leveling jacks I was telling you about actually produces the frame uh, or the chassis for this RV, depending on how you want to look at it. So it's a nice, it's a nice coupling there. 3660 suite. And as you can tell, it does have the nice entry, more ride steps as a four stepper. Uh, now that step system is gonna fold inside this door when you're traveling down the road or when you're not using your camper. Uh, the door on this is a friction hinge door. So this door will stay put wherever you leave it and up to 20 mile an hour winds. And it really works slick. All right, let's check this out. We'll start in the rear because that's what I really like and appreciate in a mid bunk fifth wheel. One thing I want to point out, and you'll probably notice as we go through here, is all the indirect lighting. See the blue here? That's not a blue ceiling. That's blue indirect LED lighting that's behind the fascia board of the slide rooms. That's underneath this kitchen countertop. Uh, when you have all the lights off and it's nighttime, it really stands out nice. And just adds a little bit of indirect lighting so you can see what you're doing at night without being a bothersome to you when you're trying to sleep. Uh, Freestanding dinette here with four chairs. An awesome entertainment system that comes complete with a fireplace, mounting for your television, and a built-in radio that's going to play your music inside and out. Now that radio is Bluetooth capable, and of course it's got AM, FM. It's got an HDMI port as well, and a USB port, along with an auxiliary input. So really, if you got a music device, it should be able to hook up to it. Some great storage above here. Uh, and that's how deep that is. It's probably four foot deep and that's all across here. So storage is not an issue here. Uh, looking towards the rear of the fifth wheel, big windows. Uh, these windows have a new blind. It's called zebra blinds. We're starting to see them in new home production. Uh, they let as little or as much light in as you want. Really cool, easy to operate. The rear sofa here is a sleeper sofa. That's going to come out to a queen size sweet sleeper sofa and it's really comfortable. And directly across from the TV is these two theater seats. These seats recline. Uh, they're, this furniture here is made by Thomas Payne, which is more of a residential style furniture producer. Uh, and what I like, my favorite part about it is it massages you or heats you or both uh, while you're sitting there. So it's a comfortable place to sit. Uh, the kitchen is really spectacular in this. So what we have here is a, a peninsula style kitchen, which gives you a lot of countertop space. Uh, the biggest uh, refrigerator that fits in that spot, it's a 10.1 cubic foot uh, refrigerator. It's all new for this year. Only the 20, 20 and a half are going to have it like this one. Uh, big freezer, big refrigerator. This is a 100% 12 volt refrigerator. It's new, innovative, cool in the industry. A lot of customers are liking that. Seamless countertops here. In other words, you don't see the seam here on the edge. Has the new oven, which is a three burner propane uh, stove top and a propane oven. A lot of storage. You notice all the cabinet work, drawer work. Uh, now all the cabinet and drawers are gonna be a solid uh, type of wood material and a lot of countertop space as you can see here. Residential style faucet. This faucet's a new thing. Uh, they call it a black stainless. Uh, and same with the tub here, the, the uh, sink, the kitchen sink tub. Backing up, just a lot of this fifth wheel is hard to capture on a camera. Have these nice pendum lights above that peninsula. And that pretty much completes the kitchen. Uh, walking up to the bedroom and bathroom, we have this door here, uh, which I have open now, but this is your mid bunk room. So the mid bunk room has the folding bunk. I've got it up, uh, but this bunk folds down 300 pounds is its limit. Uh, it's a nice size and capable bunk there. This here is a sleeper sofa, just like what's in the rear comes out to a queen size bed, uh, couch. That's uh, really comfortable. Again, spot to hang television and all the appropriate uh, hookups for that television. This has the free antenna up on the roof. Uh, and then we've, we've got a couple cabinets here for storage. So good spots there in the mid bunk room. Uh, before we go up the steps here, I will show you some of the controls. We have heating and air conditioning controls, a slide control, a really clean and cut uh, monitor panel, uh, which is going to monitor your tanks. And along with that, we have uh, your water pump control, uh, your water heater control, uh, lighting control, and more slide room control. And then up here, we have the BAL leveling system control. This is where you're going to level it right here. Nice spot to hang your coats. 
And then again, before we get to the uh, master bedroom and bathroom, we have this area up here, which a lot of mid bunks lose this. They don't have this uh, loft area up here. So again, more sleeping up here. Uh, and then also have hookups for TV and a USB up here as well. And a cool little window. All right, so finally we can get to the bathroom, which I liked all, uh, probably the nicest design I've seen in a bathroom. So it has the big shower, skylight above. It has the awesome fan in the bathroom. This fan is spectacular. It's really gonna move a lot of air. And how they have this bathroom door with a crack above the door, space above the door, it's gonna actually ventilate a lot of this fifth wheel, not just the bathroom. Uh, nice foot flush stool good space here on the floor uh, to be able to get changed in here and then uh, once we're inside we have cabinets below the sink it has the big sink a lot of companies are still using a little dinky sink and then it has a usable medicine cabinet uh, for storage there all right bedroom there's there's even more in this fifth wheel so the bedroom here is uh really one of a kind i haven't seen a bedroom like this comes with a king bed so a real king bed in here so nice big bed you have cross ventilation in the uh, bed through those windows there uh, and then the closet up here is really spectacular it has this big hanging rod up here so a lot of space there and then when we look to the right we have shelves multiple shelves of storage and then when we look to the left we have even more shelves of storage once we open that door and if that wasn't enough storage we have a couple of drawers, big drawers, and a cabinet door over here. A spot for the uh, television and appropriate hookups there. Uh, let me turn the lights on. I had them off because I wanted to show you the indirect lighting above the slide. Notice the blue. But yeah, I can turn the lights on. Sorry about that. Uh, and then this door here, so let me back up. So it has a nice barn style door there. Uh, open this up and <laughs> even more storage. So notice the nice nook above. A spot for hanging clothes and then a great spot for shoes down there but this uh, closet actually doubles as a washer dryer prep closet so you notice here the plumbing so you can put a, a, a washer dryer combination in here uh, all the hookups are already there so there's a lot all right, so I hope I did justice to this mid-bunk fifth wheel. Uh, so thanks for watching. This one literally has it all uh, for pricing and stuff. I'll post links below, but this one can be bought in the lower 40s uh, right now. Uh, so a great deal. Uh, mid-bunk fifth wheels are often in the 50 and $60,000 range. So uh, check out those links below. Finance information will be below as well as long as trade as well as trade-in information. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great rest of the day.